I'm going to place on my glasses, they're sunglasses, and it helps me see. Hopefully I look cool. <laughs> Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, an award-winning rocket scientist, author, and TED speaker. I helped launch 28 NASA space shuttle missions into space, and I love, love, love science. As a rocket scientist, we help launch the technology that we use today within video conferencing. The internet, the video games that you play, the streaming that you have, it's all based on the technology that we launched 20 years ago. We're gonna see what's science fiction versus what's real. And we're gonna start playing the game Returnal. I'm flying at a certain location here in Returno. It's really interesting about the engine. Obviously, this is a science fiction type of plane here. We don't know the schematics of the plane, but we've seen a lot of real life plane crashes with one engine going out. There could be various reasons why an engine can go out. Like for example, if an owl goes into an engine, just a regular plane engine that could damage the engine in flight and could cause a complete crash. Astra, this is Celine. I've crashed on Atropos. I survived, but Helios did not. Okay, these jetpacks are really cool. I'm seeing how the jetpacks are helping to be able to jump quickly. A lot of people don't know that jetpacks aren't just science fiction. They're actually in real life. There's jet systems that work as a propellant. It's helping me jump up quicker. Oh! We assume these are plants that are safe for her to run through, but we don't know the if these plants are actually safe or not or if they're poisonous. It's really interesting. If people are on a foreign planet, they don't necessarily realize that planets don't have the same type of botany as, as what we would have here on Earth. There's like eating plants <laughs> with electromagnetic fields of some sort. In real life, there are plants that eat. There's some human eating plants in rainforest. I hope you know that if this is actually here on Earth but they don't have this type of electromagnetic charge to them that will zap you. So that part is science fiction. Well, what's really interesting to notice, we don't know what's falling down. We assume it's rain, but on this planet, rain is water, which is hydrogen and oxygen. But on this particular computer game, we don't know if what's coming out of the sky is something different. It could be like on some planets, liquid metal, but I doubt that because if it were liquid metal, it would be burning through her spacesuit. Atropos, I have found a deceased Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. It's... I don't think it was a good idea that she touched the diseased, decaying body. She has no idea if she's going to be affected by that or not. Oh! Now these are some sort of alien creatures. Ah! This is nasty. Okay. Ah! These look like, oh, these look like cross between dinosaurs and snakes. Oh, that's nasty. Oh. There seems like there's some sort of electromagnetic balls traveling in an arc all aligned that are going in this type of movement that is potentially harming the person in Returnal. Now that's completely science fiction. However, there are such ways to be able to create electromagnetic forces out of machines. And this is still a science development. It is not something that is wide stream. However, scientists right now, and specifically physicists, are looking at different ways to create electromagnetic forces that would propel and move and create charges in certain areas. And it's not widely used or well known now, but I anticipate probably in the next 10 to 15 years, we're gonna see more type of technology that will give and propel this type of electromagnetic charge. But I don't think it's going to be like dangerous like you see here in the video. I think it's gonna be more so of offering type of 
fast charging within technology and some of the computer systems that we see. Oh! Oh no! I think I'm dying! Rewinding. <laughs> what we just saw needs to be talked about. Fraternal has Celine able to see herself from another time period. Now, do you think that's science fiction or do you think it's real? The answer is both. It's a theory that uses Albert Einstein's quantum entanglement. Each time Celine dies, she goes back to the past and she has to start over. Each time that she has to start over, she gets more pieces of her past, so she's able to determine what happened. Our brain is so amazing that when we look back on the past and we observe ourselves from the past, we see it in a new angle at the same moment. If you imagine exactly where you want to go in the next five years or 10 years, if you imagine yourself, you then are seeing yourself in the future. Your decision that you make this day, at this moment, is dependent on how you see yourself in the past and how you see yourself in the future. So she has artificial intelligence that creates a three-dimensional hologram. This actually is in real life. I'd say we can look at this type of virtual reality probably in the next five to 10 years of looking at holograms of different things. Instead of talking to someone on a video, you may be talking to somebody in a hologram. So I would give this an eight in terms of the science of making decisions. This game, Returnal, is really interesting because it deals with how you make decisions. And each time you make a decision and it doesn't turn out the way that you want it, you can actually go back into the past in this game and start over. Our lives are very similar. We can always want to go somewhere, but if we don't go back to the past and figure out what we've learned from it, we can't go back to where we wanna go in the future. So the question is, will I play this game again? It's interesting because you automatically play the game again and again in the game. It's so fascinating. Returnal has you replay the game and master it 